you might just drop the native glass effect and yeah it's uh, finally as smooth as you imagine you know those frosted blurry CPU panels we all hacked together with layers and blur tweaks uh, now it's a built-in effect so no more messy workarounds this means faster UI mockups for glass morphism, dashboards, models, and clean scalability when uh, your design changes. And the, the way it works is quite simple, and I will show it to you in uh, this video tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, so we're in Figma, and the very first thing I would want to do is to create a frame since the glass effect uh, won't work unless you create uh, a frame. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a frame on top of this image, and uh, as you can see now under the effects panel under the drop down you're going to see as the very last uh, element uh, the glass effect so we're going to click on it uh, and uh, let's briefly explore the options that we have uh, right here so first of all we're going to find the light option now light uh, essentially what it does uh, as you might imagine is uh, basically controls how much the glass reacts to the surrounding light in your scene. So basically the higher values the glass catches more light, making it more glossy or illuminated and the lower values means that the glass is going to look flatter and less reflective. So you can adjust these values directly from here and as well as the angle of course. Now the refraction is going to essentially control the bending of light through the glass, so mimicking how real glass distorts the background. So basically the more that we're going to add the refraction, you're going to see it, especially here on the top section, it's going to be less or more intense as we adjust this specific value. The next one is going to be the depth, which uh, essentially controls uh, and uh, simulates uh, the physical thickness of the glass, affecting how light interacts inside of it. So the higher values uh, essentially gives a more solid thick glass feel, while the lower values appear like a thin sheet of glass or plastic. Now the very next one is going to be the dispersion and uh, dispersion essentially controls the glass uh, ability to split the light uh, into color spectrums so similar, similarly to a prism effect so the higher values uh, essentially means that you'll see subtle rainbow like edges or chromatic aberration while the lower values uh, essentially are going to have no color splitting and pure frosted glass now the last one is the frost and this one is actually going to control the blur intensity inside of the glass so the heavier blur the more opaque dreamy appearance while the lower values is going to result into a clearer glass and more see-through so that's in a nutshell how these work together and uh, of course, the most important thing is to experiment with these uh, until you find uh, the exact uh, glass effect that uh, you were looking for. So this is pretty much it for this video and I'll see you in the very next one.